So here we have these two mostly identical pillars for an action figure diorama. I'm going to paint them in two different styles so you can kind of see uh, you know, how different techniques can be used. This one we're going to do just straight dry brush. So I already did the dry brushing of the first layer, which was just, just a uh, dark gray. I think the color is deep gray. And uh, dry brushing, if you're not familiar with it, this is basically a basic video. So you uh, load paint on the brush, you wipe some of it off, although you don't have to, but you should, so there's not too much on there because you don't want it to, like, smear. And then you just lightly, you know, brush at an angle using a flat brush like this is ideal over the top of the, uh, the whatever you're working on. And the texture of the item will allow your paint just to deposit on the higher ridges of you know the uh, the piece or whatever you want to call it so now I'm using a slightly lighter gray this particular one it was dry the whole thing was painted in black then I did a dark gray dry brush then a medium gray dry brush and uh, then a lighter gray now I'm going to use a white now every time that you do a dry brush layer you want it to cover just a little bit less than the layer before so you can see you know what's underneath and it gives the uh, the illusion of a little bit of you know variety and depth now I'm using white here as a highlight but you can use any color that you want really if you wanted as long as it's lighter than the colors below it right so the whole idea behind this is you start with a darker color and you slowly build up layers of lighter color um, to you know make it look like there's some variety and it's not just a flat color you could use like green if you wanted to make it look moldy or just a little bit of green here and there but you know for like a highlight like this maybe I would use a, a tan or a very light blue or you know nothing at all and you could this is very very like uh, high contrast obviously this is white and so this gives it kind of like a cartoony almost look it's not very realistic but it'll look pretty cool in a picture in my opinion anyway it'll give like you know a lot of contrast and look uh, dramatic I guess would be a good word for it okay so for the purposes of this video I'm done painting this you can see in the background there are some different uh, examples of what it could look like if you did it a little differently so now we're going to take the other pillar and paint the whole thing in the uh, medium gray this is the second gray that we put on uh, as dry brush coat on the last pillar but we're just gonna cover everything we can on this so we're gonna try to leave no black showing whatsoever you could have honestly painted it gray from the get-go without having to coat it black but I just think it looks a little bit better black and this way if there's anything showing from underneath you don't get that ugly pink look So now we're going to apply a black wash. This is just some water with a little bit of uh, black paint in there and um, just a drop of dish soap. And what this is going to do is it's going to settle into the cracks and, you know, put some uh, depth into this to make it look like, you know, it's not just one flat color. Of just gray so it's gonna also it's gonna make it look a little grimy and it's gonna tone the entire color down you could put more than I put on here you could do multiple coats you could mess with a mix of your wash to get it to be uh, darker or you know you can use a more expensive wash they have all different kinds but for terrain this works really well this uh, wash idea was from uh, black magic craft I've always used for a very long time watered down paint like this but putting that dish soap drop in there uh, was uh, something that he said in one of his videos and that really really helps it settle down into the cracks uh, so I definitely uh, definitely use that a lot so when you're doing this it's gonna drip there are different ways some people do one side at a time and let it you know dry into the face of it and then you know so it uh, looks a little different you know if you stand it up the drips are going to be heading down and more of the wash is going to run off of it as opposed to settling into the cracks but I was kind of 
just wanting to uh, get it to dry and not have it take an extremely long time. But you know, you just play with it like anything else, and you'll figure out all different kinds of things you can do here. You can use all different colors in your washes too, usually a brown or something like that. But here it is dry, and it's you know the contrast is obviously not as high looking as when it was wet, but you could see the recesses have a bit of a dark color to it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the lightest gray we used in the dry brushing process on the last pillar and we're just going to lightly go over the whole thing and this is going to give it in my opinion like a little bit more of a realistic look than just the straight dry brushing because you know when you look at rock you're not going to see all of the uh, the high black contrast black spots like that as shadow maybe you know in certain times of day or something but uh, so this once again you can do this in any order that you want if you wanted to do this dry brush first the light dry brush over the medium gray that we uh, initially painted this and then do the the uh, black wash over that and then go back and do a highlight over it or not even do the highlight the whole thing with this is you can layer this as many times however you like and you can just experiment with it you know also as a finishing touch lots of people would probably throw like a little bit of brown wash on the around the bottom of the pillar or maybe in some areas where they wanted to show some grime like handprints or something some green wash like a dark green wash here and there to give it that look of mold or uh, mildew or something like that as well so you know with it just it's just like uh, if you've ever used Photoshop or anything like that, you're just adding layers to give it a, uh, to dial in the look that you want. If you painted something and you're feeling like it's looking too light, you can always use a darker wash to knock that down and make it, you know, significantly darker if you got carried away with a highlight. Also, you can always add a lighter highlight layer on a dry brush to make it brighter. These are the two side by side, and here they are sitting next to Mario. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.